Hello everybody, I just thought I'd make this quick video just to explain the surgery that I'm having next week as everyone's asking me and um, I guess it's a little confusing when I just try and write it and I'm not naked. I do have a dress on, just to make that clear, it's just a little strapless dress and I'm sweaty as all hell because I'm trying to get packed and ready to leave in the morning. Um, flying to Michigan then driving to Pittsburgh um, for surgery which is micro vascular decompression surgery which is a big fancy way of saying they're going to drill a hole in my head move my brainstem out the way and um, fix my skull ingredients um, what I've had which I've had for about six and a half years now it's called um, hemifacial spasms I just started with a little tiny like twitch in my eye which everyone gets lasts for a week two weeks three weeks saw doctors thought it was anxiety took medication nothing worked saw a neurologist did an MRI and Basically, a artery and a nerve is touched and the artery is compressing and like interfering with the nerve and wearing away the myelin sheath that covers and protects the nerve. And so as it's doing that, it's causing irritation and so the nerve goes crazy, doesn't know what to do, so it starts spasming and the nerve runs like up through your ear into your face like this, basically. So it starts off when it's just a little bit, like just a little eye twitch and it gradually is moved down. So. And I can hear it in my ear too. It sounds like someone's tapping on a microphone, like noise all the time, which is very annoying. And now it's been six and a half years and I've just got to, I've tried everything, Botox, chiropractor, acupuncture, uh, you name it, like physical therapy, like stretching, yoga, everything. Basically, you know, I'd shove parsley up my nose if it could fix it and I'd try it. But um, anyway, so now I've decided to have the surgery and I found the best doctor in basically almost the world and he's in Pittsburgh, his name is Dr. Sekula and, um, and he does, he specializes in this surgery. That's why I'm going there, I don't want to just have it here with a surgeon who's done like five or something, I'd rather go to a, someone who's done a lot and does them all the time. Anyway, so basically now, yeah, so when I'm very tired, like now, you might see it kind of closes more, it's not as open as this eye now. Um, when I'm very tired or stressed out, which is like now, um, it should be freaking like going crazy right now, but um, it will twitch until my eyes almost closed and my this part of my face will twitch. And if I don't get this fixed, it will get worse. It will never get better. And I could go into like get stuck like that. Um, and it's hard to read at night and drive at night when I'm tired and the eye wants to close. Um, it's embarrassing. I can't work. I'm an actress. I can't do it anymore because it's too noticeable especially when I audition and I get nervous and freaking like twitchy eye at least the left eye Lisa Lopez <laughs> um, so um, yep so they'll go in they'll drill shave a bit drill a hole into my skull go in move the brain stem out the way and then put some Teflon between the nerve and the artery like a little cushion come out put a little bit of cement in there or something and then that's it and hopefully I'll be fixed and I won't twitch and um, hopefully it'll fix other issues I have with my neck and I don't know but it's a curious thing. It's, I think 0.8 in 100,000 people have this so I'm pretty lucky and um, can't wait to have some Teflon in my brain non-stick um, so when I forget your name or forget your birthday I can just say I've got like Teflon non-stick things just fly out of my brain I can't remember a thing anymore so I have a really good excuse. Anyway so send me um, prayers and positive wishes and um, thoughts. It's next um, Tuesday is when it's going to be operated on. So anyway, I just wanted to update you. Now I can get back to packing and freaking cleaning my house. Bye.